back to my channel, but <laughs> I don't like intros. But today I'm packaging orders and shipping them. Most of my shipping has been is usually eleven dollars. Um, typically, when I ship items, it's about three fifty to five dollars shipping tops for like sweaters and everything. So I'm showing you guys how to cut costs, how to ship well, and how to manage your shipping and keep track of everything. I just had a recent thrift shop drop on um, mine. We just had an inventory clean out just to get rid of everything. And I'm gonna show you guys the things that we're shipping because they're so cute. So first of all, this is definitely by far my favorite. We sold this like wine sparkly dress. We sold our first tote bag. They wanted, the customer wanted a brown and white bag. So we made one. This customer bought a tennis skirt. We have a Ralph Lauren sweater. This leopard print silk slip. It's so good. We sold these chunky, these chunky shoes. This white tennis skirt. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is make a little thank you notes. I use my markers and my micron pens. Okay, so I'm going to talk a little bit about the products that I use to ship. So the first thing that I do is I use these polymers. They're pretty plain, pretty basic. Yes, I know, but they're cheap. Um, I'll have the link below and I'll show you what products I use. I think it was like $14 for 100 So I get them really big. Yes, I do. And the reason why is it because for my shop, we kind of sell a range of things. For instance, if we sold two sweaters to one person, a bigger bag is going to be good because then we don't have to have small, medium, and large bags. We can just get one big bag and put it in. So if they just buy a t-shirt, all we have to do is put it in here and then fold it and tape, tape it smaller to make it smaller, if that makes sense. This is a site that I use. It's called Pirate Ship, and you should definitely um, get an account if you run a small business. Okay, so here is the site. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go here, and then you're gonna go to a single label, and then you're gonna have um, here. So when you when you are checking out with your customers, make sure to ask them for their name, their address and their phone number. I just do phone number even though it's optional. I still ask them for their phone number. And then you're gonna fill out their information and I just ship from your address. I just didn't put my address in because, you know, for privacy. And then um, you can select whether it is a box or an envelope. Mine's an envelope. And then I would put the link, let's just say my package is seven. And then you can put how many ounces and let's say my package it's 14 ounces and then you can get rates and depending on where you're shipping to it's going to be like how much so i'm just going to do this for all of my packages this is basically what i use to ship well, all i did was put the labels on and then take it to the post office Something to note is that if you already have prepaid labels, you don't have to wait in line. You can just drop it off in that blue bin in front of the post office. So thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in more small business content, how I created mine, how I started mine, and more tips and tricks that I use, you can go ahead and subscribe. Also, if you're interested in our organization or learning more about my small business, you can follow us on our Instagram and check out our website, and the links will be disclosed below. That's it.